Several years ago, the product team added a configurable login page and user portal to Access Manager, which was a little surprising in that portals have been around for decades. You would think that everyone who wants a portal has one. Yet we were getting a lot of requests for Access Manager to provide an easy way to make applications uh, accessible. Here are some screenshots of the user portal, which allows users with just one touch of an icon to get SSO access to their favorite applications. IT departments really like the configurable login page and user portal because it's easy for them to set it up for their environment. They're able to uh, configure or design their corporate colors, import their corporate logo to give that branded experience without any development skills required or the need to involve other teams or departments. And when, when they use the Access Manager connectors out of the catalog in combination with configuring the app marks in the user portal, it makes it for a quick way to make their applications securely available to their users. And because the user portal adapts to just about any device, it supports that, you know, any device, any, any location type initiative that they may have. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look. So here you can see an example of a user portal. This one has a, uh, a corporate brand or logo of Utopia Corp that you can easily import in the tool along with the, uh, uh, the corporate colors. We'll just go ahead and log in as Kevin Chester, but reality is it doesn't have to be a traditional username password. You could use a strong authentication or multi-factor authentication. You could have just a claim, just a, a plain a uh, username for login initially. Maybe your environment has low risk uh, uh, applications like, uh, or, or services like, you know, ordering in for, uh, for the cafeteria or setting up a, a room, something that really, you don't need to really protect that much. You can go ahead and, and, and just configure that you're a login page for that as well. But, so here you can see the user portal, which really is just a list of app marks and in this example, uh, the administrators exposed a half dozen or so app marks for Kevin Chester. We have customers that literally uh, run hundreds of app marks in their environment. And so that really isn't practical for users. So they, they can configure how many or which app marks are uh, available for, uh, for consumption by each user. And as you can see in that favorites tab there, that the user can further narrow what app marks or tiles show up for him that allows him to launch those applications. So what's noteworthy about these app marks is that they can support any application that's been integrated with Access Manager. It could be a modern application that supports SAML or other, some other type of federation. It could be a bare bones environment that requires a, a, a basic SYNC SSO or in other words, a, a simple record and playback or it could be an application that's being protected by uh, Access Manager's proxy that is uh, controlling uh, uh, not only the access, but also uh, other parts of the user experience. It doesn't matter. For as far as the user is concerned, he just simply clicks that app mark and it works. As you can see here, the user has the ability to define the size of, of the app mark. If, if he uh, has a whole lot of app marks, he can go ahead and shrink them to, to, to some, to a medium or, or very small icon size. So he can <clears throat> see a whole bunch at a time, or if he wants a more detailed view and, and descriptor of, of these applications that he's accessing, he can, he's free to configure that way as well. Another reason why uh, having that level of flexibility with your ad marks is so important is because of hybrid IT, right? Organizations today, their applications and services and resources are spread across a wide set of different configurations, including cloud-based applications and services, perhaps services running on an infrastructure, as well as their legacy applications. And so being able to, as for example, here in Salesforce, just to go in and, and click on that application, the same as you would perhaps an old legacy application with inside the same set of app marks is just really convenient for the user. The user doesn't have to go hunting uh, around for where that resource is located. 
So now we are able to single sign on to ServiceNow with a single click, just like Salesforce, because as you know, ServiceNow is a modern as a service uh, application that supports SAML based federation. But with Access Manager, we can do more than just single sign on to an application. Just like the legacy applications, we can use Access Manager's reverse proxy or what some people call gateway to control not only the user experience, but also we can use the gateway to uh, format or control the, the, the types of data that's input to the application, right? So if you have a, if you're using ServiceNow or some other similar application that is picky about its fields or that your organization wants the, the, the data in a certain format, you can invoke that through uh, the Access Manager Gateway.